same color as your purple. Let me paint you a tale of a dark and foggy night. A tale of a creature that caused quite a fright. I bring to you a lesson that can get quite hairy. But listen closely, friends, for some monsters never want it to be scary. Good evening, little monsters, and welcome to our monster party. We're so frightenedly excited to have you with us here tonight. Throughout your travels, you've seen monsters walk among you, show you their favorite things, and even dance with you. It's this time of year where monsters get to break free from their cages, chains, coffins, sarcophagi, ancient lamps, magic mirrors, rats, and operating tables with an open roof plan to allow the rain in. Now, I'm especially partial to that last one because each year I love hearing it's alive. Oh, it just frightens my scary bone, let me tell you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Where are my monster manners? I have not introduced myself yet. My name is Bugsy, and I'm a traveling storyteller who enjoys retelling the tales of monsters and their lives among normal people. Each year, I go to where the monsters are and share their tales found in this book. This mysterious and magical book has the power to bring a Lego character to life right before your eyes. <laughs> But, before we begin, I will need the help of my fiendish companion, Creeps. We can all look for Creeps together. Oh, Creeps! Where are you? Where can you be? Oh, dear little monsters, does anyone know where Creeps might be hiding? They like small, confined spaces. They love the dark. Oh, I see us all pointing to the box. How could I forget? Shall I go take a look-see? Creeps, are you hiding in here? Creeps, what are you doing? We have a show. Shoo. Creeps, if you could really just... Creeps, this is kind of embarrassing. Alright. Dear friends, I'm going to need your help. On the count of three, I want us all to shout, Wake up, Creeps! Ready? One, two, three. Wake up, Creeps! I'm more I don't want to go to school. Alright, let's try that again. How about a little louder this time? One, two, three. Excuse me. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen a man this tall? A purple coat. He's a bit dramatic. He goes on and on and you're like, can you just get to the point already, man? I mean... <laughs> Bugsy! My good friend! Hello. Are we in Los Angeles already? Is this Los no, Angeles? No, remember, it's time for our presentation. Oh, the timeshare pitch! What? Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a two-bedroom, two-bathroom no, castle! No, 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 Chris, that's for when we're in Los Angeles. Now it's time for the retelling of the classic tale. Wait, 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 wait. it's that time already? Oh, why didn't you wake me up sooner? Did well, you but, teach them the lines? Or well, well, no, I was waiting for you. Well, then let's get this well, show on the road. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to be a part in order for us to tell our story, we're going to need some help from all of you. Would you like to be a part of our story? Yeah! Excellent! Well, if you'd like to take part, go ahead and get up on your feet if you're able to, and get ready to learn a few things. Now, for our story, my friends, you will be playing the part of the angry mob. So the first thing you need to know is how to do a scream. Now, we can't do a normal scream. We have to do a short scream like this. Boom! A short scream just like that on the count of three. Can we do it together on three? Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Excellent screams, my little monsters. Now, with the scream comes the action that goes with it. So every time we scream, I want you to throw your hands in the air like this. One, two, three. <laughs> Excellent job. Now, the second thing that you need to know is the grit. Where 
wolf howl. So can you all howl on the count of three? Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Music to my ears. I quite agree, creeps. Well, everyone, make yourselves comfy cozy. We must begin. And the only way to do that is for all of us to say the four magic words. Once upon a brick, all together on three. Ready? One, two, three. Once upon a brick. Once upon a brick, not so long ago, lived a lumberjack, beloved all around. Everyone loved him for who he was. He built houses for the many by chopping trees to the ground. He lived a normal wood, chopping paper towels, sponsoring life. Free of danger, free of agony, as well as free of strife. Until one night, his life would change forever. For attachment to his human form would soon be quickly severed. Going further into the forest for hunted lumber he's pursuing. Little did he know that that would soon be his undoing as he headed deeper into the forest. The dark began to loom, for this lumberjack decided to chop under a bright full moon. What is happening to me? What is going on? I have the unnecessary need to chase little critters and howl at the moon. I don't like little critters. I'm a vegetarian. My lumberjack uniform. The lumberjack had been bitten by a werewolf and was transformed into a werewolf himself. He suddenly had the urge to howl at the moon. Everyone, howl on three. One, two, three. <laughs> the lumberjack had exchanged his beard for fur, his wood chopping axe for razor sharp claws, and... Oh, and I am so hungry. I need food. What do I do? What do I do? <clears throat> So, the newly wolfified lumberjack looked near and far for some food. He traveled to a nearby town and found an inn, but let's just say this innkeeper was not too fond of monsters. Uh, stay back, foul beast. Oh, I am so hungry. I need to eat. Can you help me? But all the innkeeper heard the wolf say was... Hungry. Need to eat. You. Ah, hey, so quit it. So Ouch. Done with you. Poor Wolfie was shooed away by the innkeeper. He couldn't help it. He scared everyone that he came across. He scared the butcher. <laughs> hey, uh, can you help me? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Where are with nowhere else to turn, found a nearby cave. There they would hide until the answer to its problem would reveal itself. The townsfolk, on the other hand, was terrified. They had no idea what to do. Even the mayor himself got involved. <clears throat> now I say, I say, as the mayor of this here city, what in our nation are we to do? Dear citizens, dear townsfolk, does anyone, anyone near, far, wherever you are, have any ideas or help? Would anyone like to help? Oh, no, what? someone who can help? Oh, is it raining? Who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. My name? Oh, wait. Okay. Where did you come from? I came from 
the shadows. Mm. I'm something sort of like a werewolf hunter, you see, but I go and capture them. It's wait, so a werewolf hunter? Oh. Listen, I can help you with your problem, Mr. Mayor, but it'll cost you. That's right. You heard that, everyone. Open up them there wallets and pass me the big bills. <laughs> no, 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 folks, you're hundreds. mistaken. I don't want your money. I want candy. Now I know some of you have been on them there trails. Like I personally like sounds. I don't want your candy. Oh. I Everyone, boo! Your booze fueled me. Now, Mr. Mayor, do we have a deal or not? I guess we do have a deal, whatever your name is. I tried telling you my name, but I don't think you have your monster manners. Which was Do you hear that, everybody? The wolf is nearby and he's real sad. So let's get that trap set up. Mr. Mayor, do you see that box right there? I do indeed. Go ahead and put it on that. Now, folks, this box is made of a special material that werewolves cannot break out of. Well, that seems oddly specific. Ingenious. It's oh. very ingenious. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is I'm going to hide behind the box, and I'm going to close the lid on him when we trick him inside. But, uh, how are we going to get him inside? I didn't think of that. Uh, folks, do you have any ideas on how any we can Any ideas do that? at all? Go ahead and shout them on out. Let's hear it. Uh, I love that idea, but what do werewolves eat? Meat, you're right. How about a nice, juicy piece of steak? Why did I think of that? I've got my steak right here. Catch! Whoa. That's my emergency steak. Now put it in the box and I'll be right down! Oh, what am I going to do? Everyone is terrified of me. Oh, hi everyone. Wait. Don't scream and run away. I promise I'm not some scary monster. I used to be like you. It's me, the lumberjack. I was bitten by a werewolf and turned into this monster. What? How can you prove to us you're not a monster? You don't look like our beloved lumberjack who we lost the night of a full moon never, I mean never to be heard from or seen from again. But I promise it's me. Look, I can prove it. Huh? <laughs> Uh, you see, I'm chopping down a tree. Well, that is some mighty fine wood chopping. <laughs> Wait, it's still too hard to believe. But do you know what's not hard to believe? Your special treat hiding in this here crate. Dear citizens, what's inside this crate? Steak! 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 Gross! I'll have you know that I am a vegetarian. A vegetarian wow. monster? Well, what that's not that? something you hear from. What, what that's what I am trying to tell you. I am not a monster. Oh, monster! Get it, boys! Look, it's Mr. Gold. Mr. Gold? No, that is not Mr. Gold. That's just a little boy dressed in blue. No wolf hair. Well, this is a modern pickle that I'm in. Folks, I need your help as the villain. Can you point to where the wolf is for me? Just help a villain like me. What? Oh, oh yeah, got him, boys. <laughs> Wait, that's not the monster. Really? Because he looks like a monster to me. Well, it looks like you need a nap. What? Good Whoa. night. Hey, oh, 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 there he is. I got him. Hey, I missed. Uh -huh. Oh, there he is. I got him this time. Oh, I got him. Okay, you know what? Let's try. I've been hunting werewolves my whole life, and I always get them one by one. One by one, that's it. Everyone, I'm gonna need to hear your loudest and proudest werewolf howl on three. And a one, a two, a three. Oh! Now you know what? Good night and sleep tight, folks. I'll be right here in this box. Whoa, what let me out? Now that was a doozy. 
werewolfy. If you really are who you say you are, it's time to transform you back to your original form. <gasps> Wait, you can do that? Oh no, I was just stretching. But as the mayor, I'm sure I can figure it out. Wait, I'm actually not sure I want to change back. What? Everyone was afraid of me until they found out who I was on the inside. I think that's what is most important, right? Who you are on the inside. Oh no, he's telling everyone the moral of the story! No, don't Why listen you... to that moral! Ow! Now, Wolfie, if I say so myself, and I do, that was beautiful. It doesn't matter what's on the outside. Plus, now that I think about it, this wolf thing only lasts during a full moon. Psst. Wolfie, guess what? I can make you become a human faster if you just let me out of this box. I can turn you back into your lumberjack self. Don't believe them, Wolfie. <laughs> Dear townsfolk, should we let this here creature out of this here crate? No! You know what? That sounded like a mixed review. Uh-uh. How about I finish the story and then we decide? Oh, come. I thought this was a democracy. I thought we were running by a <laughs> Wait, no! And so, the townsfolk soon realized their beloved lumberjack was indeed the werewolf. As a werewolf, he was able to chop down trees in record time. He could even scare away any intruders with a simple howl. The werewolf understood he was no ordinary werewolf and would remain a werewolf forever. Wait, what? Everyone realized that it doesn't matter what's on the outside or what's underneath all that fur or goo or shells. All that really matters is what's down deep on the inside. But the end. Thank you all for joining us here at Once Upon a Brick. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your day here at... Legoland California Resort. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone. everyone. <laughs> Let's go to Los Angeles now. Mm -hmm.